Trout Creek Trust in close to Knox in Montana. Should be a good ride. This video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation, now hiring Super B wood chip and Super B flat deck class one drivers in BC's Lower Mainland, Okanagan, and Kootenays. To apply, go to sutco.ca, use promo code Huanfen, let them know I sent you, and get an extra hundred bucks on your first payday. Good morning, good morning. Okay. Smoky morning? Yeah, smoky morning. I'm not sure if it's a good morning either. I'm way too tired for this. I don't know what they were thinking. I told Jess, it's like, I'm waking up at 7, but they're probably not going to unload us till 8. Kind of have that tendency here. So we're not in a crazy rush to go to bed. I was wrong. Very, very wrong. They unloaded me at 6 a.m. their time, 5 a.m. my time. And we didn't go to bed till like midnight. Yeah. Five hours of sleep, unloaded, I went back to sleep. Jess says she just barely went back to snoozing when I woke her up again. And they were all coming to work, so they can't yeah. get awake with all the noise. So we are on Highway 200, headed west, a highway we rarely run, Highway 200 in Montana. Is this a new road for me? This is probably a new road for you. Okay. So this will bring us to uh, Honduras Sandpoint. Uh, okay. And I set up a roof cam thinking we were taking a different road. Uh -huh. I got it set up on the passenger side. Yeah. Let's hope that's not as cheeky. You know what? We were experimenting and experimenting and more experimenting. And we'll see if the videos are better today. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Put sunglasses on the shoulder camera. It seemed a little too washed out to me. I can actually do that right now. I have the capability of doing that right now. Just not screw that lens and screw the other lens on. You just have to go through the bag and find that. Is there a the bag? The bag is literally behind my head. It's uh, the small... Oh, well, I know what it okay. looks like. It's okay. just a needle in a haystack. It's it a needle in a haystack, yeah. You might want to take some of the bigger stuff out of it. Actually, it would be kind of nice testing, changing the lens in video to see what the difference is on. Watching sitting on the 
counter beside me instead of behind me instead of uh, in that bag. So you're saying I didn't need to buy a new power adapter? in there? No, it's 
looking for it's a polarizing lens for the camera basically sunglasses sunglasses for the camera There's a lot of old vehicles parked up there. Old gravel. It's a gravel pit with all these old vehicles lined up on the. It's pretty cool. It's a little less smoky today than yesterday. So there's that. Got pretty thick yesterday. Yeah, but you know what the problem is? What's the problem? At least this patch puts this in the most smoky area. Oh, yeah, we're going to the coast. Ha! 
Highway 1 westbound is closed. Yeah, I'm going to open them now. But it might be closed again. So yesterday it took us two and a half hours to get new tires put on the truck. Ended up getting two new tires on the truck and two new tires on the trailer. I was hoping for four new tires on the trailer, but to be fair, two of them have at least another two weeks in them before they need to be replaced, so they would prefer to get those two weeks in them. Okay. I don't know. They had it there for two and a half hours. I know they were supposed to grease the trailer. Did they actually grease the trailer? I'm not. I don't know. You did get some fancy new lights. I did get some fancy new lights on my air cleaner because they ordered them for a special truck and they didn't fit that truck. And that truck is all blinked out with chrome and lights. It's like, hey, these lights apparently only fit your truck, so. I think uh, your boss would be okay if you put him on here. How much does your boss like? I'm like, I don't know, give him a call and see if he's gonna allow you to put him on there. It's gonna cost money. He goes, I'll sell to him for, at cost. A couple minutes later, they're coming over installing the lights. There's 12 more lights I have to worry about on the DVIR. Yep. <laughs> it makes the truck look prettier sharp, but if it was my truck, I would have the bare minimum legal lights. Not necessarily legal, bare minimum, bare minimum useful lights. Oh, you got a new CB radio. You got a new antenna. You got a new antenna for your CB I have put radio. a new CB antenna up. Did that too. I'm going to some shop stuff. It's a productive stop. <laughs> yeah, I put the bit. put the dash cam stuck the dash cam back on with some nice designer tape. Company dash cam, not mine. And no, it doesn't face me. No, no driver facing camera. Um, if they had a driver facing camera, I would cover that camera every single night. If I'm not driving, it would be covered. This is my house. You still get reflections. Yeah, you still get reflections off the windshield and stuff. Yeah. You have to like cover and cover. And I would probably start looking for a job somewhere else. that are putting in cameras facing the driver. Basically, they're hiring drivers they don't trust. Yeah. Just hire a driver you trust and you don't need those. As far as liability, it's better without the camera too. As soon as you have a camera, Get, open yourself up to lawsuits as well. So even the dash cam itself could hurt you legally. I really don't know about that creek. It's called Mosquito Creek. I don't know 
probably not have anything to do with this game for you. Yeah, no kidding. So this town is called Clark Fork. I believe that's the river that flows into the Monterey. Clark Fork River? Yeah. Obviously named after Lewis and Clark. That's Lightning Creek. Is that better than Mosquito Creek? Unless you're out in a storm. Oh yeah, so yesterday the camera shot in 1080 instead of 4K, the shoulder cam. No wonder it didn't get hot or anything. Starting on the 13th, expect delays. Today is September 13th. Did I tell you guys our day and time and all that stuff? I think I forgot all of that. I was so disoriented. It is now 7.32, it is 10 degrees Celsius outside. Better late than never, half an hour late, not quite. Work ahead. Maybe we're early enough to not have to stop. Maybe we're just getting set up, so. Yeah, they're just putting signage out. Said. Excuse me. <laughs> Got the sniffles. Looks like that's probably delivering some equipment for whatever this construction site is. Maybe not. Could be some unrelated. No, I think it's related. I think they're not working on that line. <laughs> Set up and utility work, they're gonna work yeah. Yeah, on the power lines. Almost told them hydro lines, but I got it. I, I got there before I did. Utility is the best way because it summarizes everything. Yeah, utility, power, phone line, cable, internet, everything. Yep. to get used to when I moved to Canada though. It's kind of like nitro. Yeah. Definitely a Canadian thing. What a beautiful drive along here. I wish it wasn't smoky. I agree. I said it better. being so loud and crackly. <laughs> Almost wish the camera was on me right now. <laughs> She was making the noise. That's no lie, but I wasn't picking for myself. It was after I handed her a granola bar hinting to have it open. That's a dilemma. You have a dilemma? Yeah. Since 
move that bag behind your head, everything's going to fall out of that shelf. Oh well. Pick it up off the floor. You notice they're rolling paper towels, unroll themselves, and be everywhere. <laughs>
can't explain it. What type of batter it was. But it was definitely really good. The best I've had. And I love fish and chips, so I have something to say about that. In fact, I've had fish chips all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast. I don't want to have fish and chips all the way from the west coast to the east coast. I have them. In Manitoba? Mmm, Michigan. Does that kind of count? Okay, I guess. I'm sure I've had it in Manitoba, I just can't remember if they're often enough. If you buy halibut in Manitoba, you know it's not fresh. No. But when we went to Newfoundland and <coughs> Nova Scotia and stuff, we had a Oh, Prince Edward Island, even. We, we had a lot of fish and chips on that trip. <laughs> In fact, our ferry ride that took eight hours, we had fish and chips on that. That eight hour ferry ride? One way, which is say. Yeah, one direction. <laughs> right along Ponderay Lake. small little main highways.
Did you look up where we're delivering to? No, I haven't had a chance. Okay. Pretty gorgeous drive. And I don't think I've ever brought YouTube along here before. So I think internet is the first time I'm showing you guys this road. not boring. Probably mainly because I never drive, drive this road. Driven it, I think, it's two or three times in the big region. up a little bit down this way, it's 13 degrees Celsius. Pack River. Kind of glad I bought brought along a jacket this week. It's handy in the morning. Yep. Yep. Jacket has come on a couple times this week already. It's only Tuesday. See, I've learned my lesson this week. I have to bring tank tops. Last week it was cold. Won't be long, I'll be packing my hoodies. of the highway is Ponderay, the other side of the highway is Ponderay.
normally when you guys see us drive through Ponderay Sandpoint, we're going north to south, or south to north. This time we're doing westbound through. So that'll be a little different too. Mm -hmm. By uh, coming down through this way, we uh, bypass Kooky Pass altogether. There is a lot of traffic. 
big uh, wood pellet manufacturing plant right beside us on our left. A lot of Sutco trucks deliver sawdust here. Ponderay is spelled the way we would pronounce it. The lake is spelled, well, it's spelled in French and uh, the English language is butchered the name over here. I'm not sure how you would actually pronounce it in French. So sniffly, and it's, it's all smoke, but it's all allergies. Like it's pretty bad, but then when you have to work, yeah. 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 And, and the truck has a good HEPA filter in it, but it seeps through everywhere. It's this thick and thicker. traffic. Keep, I can't hear what the sign says. Said it. Highway. Highway 2? No. 90. I guess we didn't go in that way. 95. Highway 95. So now we're entering San.
Yeah, I'm having a rough morning. Through traffic, keep right. I think the last sign kind of lied to me. I'm sure this one's right. The last way to water your flags. Mm -hmm. It's a good setup there. Better setup would be bring water to every light post. This sign was correct this time. No lies this time. Oh, somehow we switched from Highway 200 to US 2. So we are on US 2. This is going to be still green for me, is it? It's a long green light. Mm -hmm. Standpoint. So much to look at. I found places that aren't that neat. Oh. I'll survive. I'll survive. I don't know what's name to pick. I don't think 
they know either. Believe this. GPS says this community is Dover. is slightly annoying. Feels incredibly slow. Yeah, if there's not buildings around you, it doesn't really make sense. Like we're out in the open, why are we driving this slow? Sixty. <laughs> hey, your turn. Bless you. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna have to look and see if I have eye drops. Once again, huge thank you to everybody that supports us in the many different ways there are to support us just by watching. Thumbs up, comments, lots and lots and lots of comments. <laughs> I enjoy reading all the comments. There is also the super thanks option to give me a tip. And the join button if you want to become a member or if you just subscribe yeah there's so many things and everything you guys do supports me so just watching the videos is helping me out so thank you so I guess tomorrow we'll be Somewhere in BC's lower mainland in thick smoke. Yeah. Yippee! As you can tell, I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, we'll, we'll survive. I know there's some road closures down there and stuff, so we'll have to figure that out. We'll survive. So thank you guys so much for watching. We are out of here. You guys rock. Adios. <laughs>